Hello guys, my name is Walid and welcome to the first video in this course in which I'm gonna be explaining how to create amazing effects using the Unity Shader Graph and the Unity VFX Graph and some particle systems. So, as we know, those tools can be used using the built-in render pipeline. So, what we have to do is we have to switch the settings of the, the, the render pipeline to the Universe Render Pipeline or the High Definition Render Pipeline. And this episode is all about this so the first way to switch them is to uh, for example to create a project that has a universal render pipeline or high definition pi render pipeline someplace in it if we click new in the unity have we are going to have here a high definition render pipeline in place and the universal render pipeline in place i'm going to go with the universal render pipeline one and project name loc location and click create to create the, the universal render pipeline project and when you are gonna create it you are gonna have a scene like this a default scene of the universal render pipeline the third the third thing you should care about is here when you go to the settings you are gonna have the settings of the universal render pipeline high quality low quality medium quality and if you go here to edit project settings you are gonna notice that in descriptive render pipeline I'm using the high quality render pipeline settings as you know so you can tweak those settings depends on your need of the projects for example we can go grab this low quality settings here and here we go we are using the low quality settings in the universe render pipeline the second way is to the second way is to create a normal 3D project, normal 3D projects in the Unity Hub, and then implement the Universal Render Pipeline or the High Definition Render Pipeline settings on it. So we are gonna create a 3D project, project name, and the folder we are gonna store the projects in, and we are gonna have a scene just like this. A normal scene that has nothing in it so what we should do first is go to the window package manager and then we are gonna search in the package manager for the universe for the universal render pipeline or the high definition render pipeline in the search bar I'm gonna type for example RP uh, stands for render pipeline here's a universal render pipeline and the high definition render pipeline and the lightweight render pipeline is the same as the universal render pipeline it's just an older version of the universal render pipeline so i'm gonna go with this you are gonna click install to install the universal render pipeline in your projects uh, as i already did that and after this we are gonna go to the assets folder click click the right create something new and we are gonna go to render universal render pipeline and pipeline assets to create the universe render pipeline settings i'm gonna call it settings like here and we are you can tweak it after this to to do wherever you want in your scene for example a high quality as we've seen before lower quality wherever you want so after which you are gonna go to edit project settings and in the scriptable, scriptable render pipeline settings as uh, you are gonna go grab this this profile you created and put it here so now your scene is using the universal render pipeline settings as we should know but if you did that the first thing you are gonna notice when you start implementing your your as we see your um, project's assets is that the normal materials can be used in the universe render pipeline or the high definition render pipeline so what you have to do is to switch those materials to be implemented by the universe render pipeline so what we are gonna do to do to do this is to click it is here you have will have a render pipeline choice here a universe render pipeline and then you are gonna have these two choices upgrade projects material to the universe render uh, to the universal render pipeline materials or upgrade select materials to the universe render pipeline materials i'm gonna upgrade all the projects materials to the to the universal render pipeline materials upgrade proceed and and then you will notice that those materials can can be used again 
the universe render pipeline or the high definition render pipeline depends on what you are working with so this is the end of this video i hope you like it guys and uh, subscribe to my channel if you if you like my video and goodbye see you in the next video